There's an app included in your Microsoft 365 subscription that you can use to create newsletters, business presentations, and proposals. And not many people are using it. It's called Microsoft Sway. And that's the topic for today's video. But before we start, just a quick intro. My name is Jonathan Edwards from Integral IT. We support businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365. Now, I'm a big fan of trying to get every little bit of value out of your technology investment. And if you're a Microsoft 365 user, then Microsoft 365 is packed full of applications that you're not using, but you're already paying for. Now, one of these applications is called Microsoft Sway. Not many people are using it. Now, in today's demo, this is the scenario. I want to create a monthly newsletter that I can send to our customers and prospects. This newsletter is going to be about what we've been up to and offering the content that we already produce on YouTube. So let's jump onto that PC behind me and I'm going to give you a full demo of Microsoft Sway. So how do you access Microsoft Sway? Well, I'm in the Microsoft 365 portal now and down the left hand side, there are some of my applications. You can see that Sway isn't there. So if I go up to the top left hand corner and go to App Launcher, more of my applications will appear. And if Sway isn't listed here, you can simply click on Explore all your apps. But I can see Sway here, so I'll launch that. Now this is the Microsoft Sway homepage. So we've got a couple of sections in the middle that it's worth talking about. You can start from a template. So Microsoft have built out various Sway templates that will get you started very quickly. Or you can get inspired. So again, Microsoft have built some Sways that might inspire you to create your own. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new one because I want to start from a blank Sway because I think you'll learn more. So I'll click on here. And here is our blank Sway. So how do we get started? You can see here that Sway is done built on blocks and, and everything will become clear to start with. This bit is the storyline. So we're in the storyline now. This is how we would build out our Sway. But you've also got another tab called Design and we'll touch on that a little bit later. But this is how we want to style our Sway. Now we'll do that once we've got some content in our storyline. So I'll go back here. Now, firstly, I'm gonna make a title for my newsletter. So I'll call this The Bearded 365 Guy Newsletter. So that's my title. I can do a couple of things here. I can emphasize it, which just makes it go bold, and I can also make it italic as well. What I've also got here is a background tab. So I'm gonna add a background image here. So this box pops out here. What we can do, we can search the net, we can look at YouTube, or we can look at my device. And I'm gonna upload that photo from my device. So I'll upload this photo here. Okay, that's there. So I'll just close this box here. Now, interestingly, what we can do is we can click on focus point. So this shows the image here. Now, what it will also do is it'll show you the image on a tablet and a smartphone. And you can see here on the smartphone, you just see my, my arms and my shoulders. And this is what focus points is all, around, all about. So what I can do is say, well, the focus points for this image is kind of my head. Okay, like that. Now you can see on both channels, it is zoomed in on the focus points. So that's a nice feature. Or you can click on the entire image is important and it'll focus on everything. But for my purpose, I think that is okay. So I can just click out of there now. So now if I just pop down into details here, you can see it's also wanting to know if I want to add a logo. So I'm gonna add my business logo. Okay, so I've now finished with the heading. So I can just go up to the top here and just minimize it for now. What I want to do now is add another block, another section. And to do that, I simply click on this plus here, insert content. It's going to give me lots of options. This is the suggested tab, and then I've got headings, text. I can add images and videos. We're going to go through a few of these in this video. But for this section to start with, I want to add a heading. So my heading is going to be called... That's my heading. I want to advertise our new video on YouTube. Insert content. I'm going to go to media, and I'm going to go to video. And this pop-out comes out here. 
So we've got su suggested at the top, we can upload, which I'll show in a minute, but I want to link one of my YouTube videos. So I'll simply click on there and YouTube will be here. At the moment it's searching for physics and we've got a lot of videos we can embed. I happen to know the link of the video that I want to add. So I'll just copy and paste it in there and press return. And here's the video. So I'll simply click on it and click on add. Okay, that has added. So I'll just close this section here. Now I can add a caption in here or I can add some text and I'm going to add some text in here and I'll show you the difference in a minute. So let me insert content and choose text. Now I'm going to add some text about this video. Okay, there's some text about this video. Now we've added that, I think it's time that we just had a look at how this sway is going to look just so we know we're on the right lines. So I'm going to go over to the design tab. Okay, this is the sway at the moment. Now you can see a couple of things. This is the design of it, obviously. And this is how you get across the sway. Okay, so you move over like this. So let's change a couple of things about this design. So I'm going to go on to styles here. Just get rid of that. As you can see, this way is going horizontally. My favorite way is for it to go vertically. So if I choose that, come out of there, you can see that the sway works like this. So you scroll down, okay? Plus, this is the style at the minute. It's got this black thing going on. I'm not very happy with that. So let's have a look at some more styles. Well, our business, this is the kind of text that we have. This is our Integral IT Blue, as you can see in the logo. So I'm going to use that. And you can see that a lot of the headings are also in this blue. So now we can see we've got a bit of a design going on. Let's go back to the storyline. Again, any time during this sway, I can simply click on play and I can have a look at how it looks. So we'll scroll down here. Now this is the section that I've just added. So the new video on YouTube. What do I think of this? Well, maybe this video here could be a little bit bigger. Okay, so go to the top, click on edit. And let's just click into here. Now we've got these three options here, as you can see. So at the minute, it's on the smallest one. So let's just ratchet up a little bit and set this to moderate, okay, and play it again. Okay, let's scroll down. Now you can see this video is a bit bigger and the text is underneath. Do we like that? Yeah, I do actually. I think that looks a little bit better. So I'll keep that and I'll come out of here. Now it's time to add another section. So I'll just click into here and we'll click on this button here. Okay, now I'm gonna upload a short video of ours, okay? So the first thing, I'm gonna have another heading and I'll cut this here. Okay, this is a section about the new outlook and I've compared it to the new Coke disaster of 1985. Now what I'm gonna do here is click on here. We will go into media and this time click on video. Now, instead of going to YouTube, I'm gonna to go to my device and I'm gonna upload a video some videos here and the one I want is the new coke one I click on open now this video is quite a big file so that's going to take a little bit of time just to upload to our sway okay that video is added in there now I've got a couple of options just like the first one I can add a text card or a caption I'll go with caption on this one just to show you how different that is from a text card so let me add the the text in here okay there's my caption and once again Let's take a look at it by clicking play. Scroll down. We've got the video there. And we've got the video there. Now you can see that is the caption there. So you've got to click on it to kind of see what it says. I prefer when it's a text box like that, okay? So if I just go back and edit it, and I just remove the caption, and then add a text block, and I'll just copy that into there like that. Again, I can make that medium size like that, so I can make it bigger. Let's go back into play. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And again, you can play the videos right within stream, okay? So it's really handy. Okay, so we've added that now. What are we going to add next? Well, we can add groups of videos and photos. So I'm going to do that next. So we'll go down here. We're going to add a section, uh, a heading, and we'll call this the Integral IT Team. Okay, I'm going to bold that and then I'm going to go onto here. I can click on stack or I can go to group and stack is also there. So let's click on there. Now it's added a group called stack. Now we've got to add the content. So I'm just going to upload several photos of some of our team members. So click on there. 
Okay, these are the photos I want to upload. So I'll just select all of these and click on open and they will upload. Okay, so those have uploaded now. Now what we have to do, which is a bit kind of weird, is we have to kind of drag them into the group. Okay, so they're now in the group. Let's just play this again, shall we? Okay, let's just go to play and see what that looks like. Scroll down, got our video. Okay, so this is how this is at the moment. It's okay. Um, we might want to keep it like that. It's a bit small for me, so what I could do is click on edit. And I've got a couple of choices here, so I'm going to make it bigger, I think. Let's make it the biggest it can be. Click on play. Scroll down again. And that looks quite nice. If you want to just click across, that might be quite nice to do. Okay, yeah, roll it there. Or you might not like that. So you've got another option here. We can click on group type. You can see that's a stack at the moment. We can make it a grid, something like this. Okay, let's play that again. Get rid of that. Play what a grid looks like. Okay, that's a grid, and that looks okay. So I might leave it at that. That's a nice little section for my for my sway. Now the final thing I'm going to show you here. Click on there. Go to the bottom. Add a new section. Is maybe a video grid. Okay, so again, let's add this here. Okay, go there, click on here, go to group, click on grid, okay, add content, click on here, now we want video, okay, I'm going to copy a few of my YouTube videos into here, click on, and another one here, and another one here, and another one here, another one here. okay, they are in my grid, okay, so again, I can go for a different type, but let's have a look at this in the play, scroll down, Now, they're a bit small for me, but we know how to change that. So I just go here, click on edit, go to group, and I just want to make them a lot bigger. Okay, click on play. Scroll down. Now you can see we've got a nice newsletter here to send to our customers. There we go. I can make them a bit smaller if I want. They're probably a bit big, but you know how to make them smaller. So I've got a nice newsletter that I can send to customers. It's, it's taken me a few minutes to put together. So what would I do now? Well, I'd obviously click on share. Okay, you can share your swear with specific people, those just in your organization, or anyone who has the link. Plus, you can share this sway and just get people to view it or to edit it. And you, what you would do is just copy this link, and then you would put into an email, here's the link to our latest sway our latest newsletter or you can get a visual link so a visual link is something like this now i obviously need to work on the image but if i copied that open a, open a word document or an email and i just copied that into there that's what it's going to look like on the email again we need to sort it out because it just shows you my shoulders but you get the idea or you can simply just add the link there so you can see it's taken 20 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, just to create a nice newsletter that we can send out to customers. Sway is a really, really good feature of Microsoft 365 that so few people are using. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. I'm sure you'll agree that there's great value in using Microsoft Sway in your business. I look forward to seeing you again soon.